Hi, I'm Nick, and today I'm going to show you how to make the Starburst bracelet. It's going to look like this when it's done. So let's get started. First, you want to choose three colors. Mine are going to be black, red, and this light green. First, you're going to take your darkest color and put it diagonally from this peg to this peg. Now you're going to take the same color and do it, it all the way up to this peg, like straight up to this peg. You're going to push this down while you go. You're not going to go to this peg. You're going to take the same color and put it from this peg to this peg. Now we go all the way back to the start. Take the same color and put the band from this peg to this peg. Like that. Now do it all the way to this peg. Straight up. And push it down while you go. Just like on the other side, take it and put it from this peg to this peg. It's going to look like this when you're done. Okay, now we're going to put in the starburst. They're going to be like this. My starburst colors are red and light green. So you're going to take one of your colors, put it from this peg to this peg, diagonally. Like that. Now take it from, now put it from here to here. And then here to here, here to here, here to here, and from here to here. Now I'm going to take my other starburst color, which is red, and you're going to start from this peg and go to this peg, like that. And then from this peg to this peg. Then this peg to this peg. Then from this peg to this peg. This peg to this peg. And then this peg to this peg. So now we got this one done. You're always going to start from this peg to this peg. When you're done doing this pattern, it's gonna, going to look like this. Now we're going to put the capper bands on. You're going to see the outer part right here. Mine is black. And take seven uh, of those colors. Now you're going to take one band, flip it around, and it's going to be doubled like this. Now put it onto the peg. And you're going to do this on all of the middle, the middles of the starburst, but don't do it on this peg.
Now that you have the capper bands on, you're going to flip the loom around and we're going to start hooking. So you're going to go under this capping band and you see your color here, the starburst color. You're going to go under the capper band and grab your starburst color. Now you're going to take the starburst color and put it onto the middle of the starburst. You see? You're going to go in reverse from the way you started. So this is the one we started on. Now it's going to be the ending one. So we're going to start and go under the capping band and put it onto here. So let's get started. See, watch. You're going to go under the capper band Grab this band, pull it up, over, and onto that, the peg. Now you're going to do this, this, the same with this peg. You're going to go under the copper band and grab this band. So go under, grab it, and pull it over. Same with this. Go under the copper band. Pull it up and put it on. Now go under the cap and band. Pull this band up and over onto the peg. Now go under the cap and band one more time. Grab this band, pull it up and over. It's going to look like this when you're done hooking with it. You're going to do it with the rest of the starburst. So, but when you're on this peg, you're just going to go under, grab this band, and pull it over. Now do the same thing you did with this starburst to this one. So go under the copper band, grab it, put it onto this peg. Go under the copper band, grab it, and go on to this pick. Go under the copper band, grab it, and go under this pick. You're always grabbing the same band as the one you put on the pig, and it always has to go in this order, or else it's not going to work. Now that you have all the hooking done on the starburst, it's going to look like this. Now all we have to do is hook the outside. So you're going to take your hook, go under this capper band, and grab this band. So just like that. Now you're going to go under, grab the bottom band, pull it over onto this peg. Now go under, grab the bottom band, and pull it onto this peg. You're going to do this pattern all the way to this peg, and then from this to this. Go down to the bottom, grab this band, pull it up and over. Don't go under all these bands and grab this band. You're going to go down, back to the front, go under this capper band, and grab this band. So like that. And you're going to do the same thing on this side. 
as we did on this side. Okay, now that we have all the bands hooked, it's going to look like this. You're going to take the same color as the outer bands and the capper bands. Now, on this peg, you're going to take your hook, go under all the bands like this, and put this band onto the end of the hook. Now you're going to pull it through all these bands and now put both of the sides onto the hook. You're going to scoot it up all the way to the top. Now you're going to pull the starburst part off. going to look like that. You're going to find a little thing right here. That's our capper band. So set this down and I say you're going to take at least seven bands of the color put on your, you put on your hook. And you're going to have the arrow facing away from you. Take your seven bands and line them up on the very right side. Now you're going to look at your hook. Put your finger through these bands and then pull it off. It's going to be on your finger. Now you're going to stretch it and put it onto this peg at the end. Now pull it and put the other end onto this peg. Now you're going to take your hook, go under, grab this band. Now go under these bands, grab this band, hold over. Grab this band, put it onto this peg. This band, pull it onto this peg. And you're gonna do this all the way to this peg. Now that we have this part done, we're gonna take these bands, pull them over onto this peg. Now take a C clamp and put it onto these bands. Like that. Now you're gonna pull this off. Now that you have this part, we're gonna take the end, you're gonna look at the end, and you're gonna see a little capper band. It's coming out of the end. You're going to put that on your c clamp too. And there you have it, the Sawyer's bracelet. And there's the c clamp and the extension.